What is up, everybody? It's your boy, Al Pal. Welcome back to the channel. We will be continuing our Elden Ring Let's Play. This will be part eight. Yes, part eight. Um, I just wanted to do something a little bit different with the intros. I feel like these are kind of necessary. I think it's also kind of necessary. I timestamp stuff in the description so that you can kind of bounce around instead of maybe watching the full clip. I mean, I would appreciate it if you did watch the full thing, but if you just want to get to, like, the meat of potatoes where I'm actually doing things that are interesting and not just running around and rambling, now you have the option to do so. And, um, so where were we last time? We were in Kaled. We were gearing up to go fight Radon. I decided to put that off in this episode so we can go get the Dung Eater, which means we're going to break into, um, uh, the capital a little bit earlier than I kind of anticipated but it, it's for a good cause um not only do we get to meet dung eater do his invasion and give him the potion from Selvis, but we're also going to be able to acquire a somber smithing stone seven which will allow us to upgrade our weapon up to a plus nine now so it's kind of important that we get in there and do this first otherwise you either have to go through volcano manor or you have to do you have to get into nocron is it Nocron or Noxtella? I believe it's Noxtella, actually. So that's uh, that's the plan, um, and we're going to get right to it. So if you like this type of content, go ahead and give me a like. You Subscribe if you feel like it, and leave a comment down below if you're enjoying this, or if you just want to chat about Elden Ring. I'd be down for that, so enjoy. Places like Altus and Kaled. Lyrnia a little bit, but these Altus and Kaled have like a lot of materials for us to be grabbing up. Especially when there's a mine involved, we definitely want to be there. Okay, so. I probably could just put a marker. Okay, so here we get the uh, Summer Smithing Bell 2, you know, I don't say it right, but that's what it is. That is so much. That is so much off of one thing. That was so much. Anyway, we get goodies like the Smithing Stone 5 here. And we'll probably get some decent smith somber smithing stones. As long as we keep up with wasting everything. Of course I haven't I haven't upgraded anything yet. There's a bunch of snails in here. Just grab this. fact, I believe this one kind of, it's really only worth running to the boss, I believe. there. I'm 
I'm not quite sure what's up there. That was uh, probably some of the best shit I've done. So I saw him just missing 7 5. Okay. Cleared the top shelf. Sorry about the sniffles. <coughs> Guesses is I gotta run up there and <coughs> see what's good. Or we could just fall and die. I mean, you're you're even using the pillow. It's my boy. No, dog. The 10k is gone. We can't. We can't be running through here. We'll lose that 10k, but uh, we'll come out of here champions still. Excuse me. Anyway, you just run straight through. Even have time to stop and grab those smithing stones. Spear gets it first.
discus homie. They're dangerous, but not as bad as the other one. Bloodhound's Fang is just such a, such a ballin' fucking thing. Oh look, we basically got our 10k back. That's what matters. Let's see if we can find him over here. Or if we have found him already. Don't do his quest. It's it's ridiculous. It's long. Do it if you want to do Jarberg, right? Don't do it if you just want the mask and whip. I'll tell you why. Because we just got the mask and whip. And if we just come up into here and do the rest of... Hey! And then do our business. At any rate, we did kind of start some stuff, so we at least have that area set up for us to go back to. Plus now we have the option to go and uh, do the, uh, the invasions for the Volcano Manor, but those are really easy, it's, those are really best set up after you beat Morgoth, just to go through and do those since you have to kind of since you have to get into the mountaintops of giants anyway so Morgata will be kind of like our our big fight I was really hoping we could get some progress on getting to a plus nine before we got there but looks like we'll have to fight this at standard No Ashes of War, because I haven't upgraded any yet. You can use this Rotten Stray. Oh. Yeah, use a two-shotter. We're doing all right, though. We can give it a shot. <coughs> Worst comes to worst, we could just go upgrade the Rotten Stray. Um, you don't need to do that to beat this boss. Uh, no. Okay.
Oh, we got it. Now we play the game. This is a, just a, a, a way to do it. You could do it without the rock grease, with just the dog at plus three. At least that's what it used to be. It might run out, but it might be enough for us to not have to deal with the problem. You know what I mean? And we got it. I believe that also gives us a shield, which I believe, if we're lucky enough, we might be able to even wield. Uh, if not with what we have, then with what we can put on. So, probably replace that, but we've been trying to get a... It's 28. And it's only a medium load, for real. Yo. It's medium load with what we have. Plus it's a 50,000 soul thing. That way we can still wield it without the, the rune arc. And we also get an, a couple of extra things. So we're starting to get there. We wanted a great shield for a good portion of this run, so... so getting a strength weapon is nice too, but usually Draconic or Tree Sentinel stuff requires some amount of faith to use, I believe. This one does not. So that's cool. So now that we're here, there are a couple of somber smithing stones, sevens in here, but there are ways to farm them, so. I think we'll just give that a shot real quick. Come out here. Uh, the capital is actually not that crazy of a place to be. I know the first time I came here, I wondered if I was here too early. And I still think we're here a little too early, but... Let's go ahead and pull up the subterranean. Uh, two found in the sewer. So actually, the easiest way I think would be to just try and farm them. 
Uh, so now that we're this far in, we have to go talk to the guy. So that we can even start his thing. I think that's how we'll end this episode. You're such a big baby. Not real. You okay? Good shit. Like that's such such a weird thing. I doubt he's given me the key, huh? The sewer jail opens a locked door and son of a bitch. I guess not, huh? I guess I have to go and get that seed bed curse so that you're all sorts of excited to see me. He's never specific about it. That's okay. <laughs> Having that much uh, open up in the first place is really good because we can kind of get some pretty decent armor out of it. Which I think is worth it. Um, so let's try to think about how we want to end this. We're going to get through part of the capital, I think. So this part, pretty straightforward. Just run. Then uh, we come and jump over here. We're gonna hightail it. There is a seed bed curse on top. I'm not too worried about it. We run out to the road over towards where that caravan is. We'll get. Uh, Set everything so we're not getting rocked by a. My utmost best for bringing me to the pier, and thus I shall depart farewell. I shall leave Torin. I wish you luck. You have all I have no doubt. Okay, so she's gonna dip out for reasons. We. We're gonna go get this first seed bed curse and then we'll make our way. Come on, give it to me. Give it to me straight. Too tough. I am here way too early. Oh. <laughs> I 
forget what the item is over there. We don't need any of the bullshit here. We do want the rune arc. We will have to fight at least one knight, but we don't have to fight in a situation like that. Or actually, we don't even really have to fight him. But, you know, we're here. It's a 1v1. Might as well take him on, you know what I mean? Makes you wonder, right? Like, once we get our glaive up high enough, we will absolutely slaughter. Get the Raging Wolf set. What I say I needed smithing stone six, huh? I think we'll get one at the top, so but we also get the seedbed curse up there, so let's go ahead and rest, reset everybody. Grab the paintings. The paintings I haven't actually gone through and done all of those. They're a really cool concept. So we actually have a lot more options than we did when we started, actually. collecting shit here. rune will give us quite a bit. Nothing in Gideon's room, obviously. Guy's a tool. Nothing at the twin husks. We do get a seed board. Seed bed curse. I 
am not a fan that it's uh, about a lot of the questing parts here. Basically, we're gonna have options. I've said this a million times, but we've done a lot of Kaled, so basically, just going back to Kaled and fighting Radon is one thing. Also, pretty precarious but we did it uh, so we could go do Radon we could go do Godfrey we could um, there's a lot of things for the next episode we'll kind of think about uh, because mainly we just don't want to do Radon until we finish stuff with Celibus once we finish things with Celibus then it's like we can kill Radon. We basically just want to have the option to get a puppet. Which is pretty straightforward, easy to do. Or actually, I don't know how straightforward it is. We have to go and kind of be a busybody. and get him to give us one. We took the simp last time, so maybe we'll take somebody else this time. Kill them, but we lit the bonfire. These. So all we're doing is freeing the guy. That's such a dickhead move. They kept that from a game. Happens in Dark Souls 1. I am curious. I probably can't craft until I get up here. Okay, so we freed him. Now we could go fight him at the moat. Doing something. Uh, but. We 
We just have to make sure the crab doesn't get involved. We'll get a sword as well, which, oddly enough, procs bleed. So we just have to stay away from that far side of the lake. We have to go over there to kind of initiate it. Kind of like here-ish. involved now. See what I mean? that we need it right now. I just like to use it. Alright, well that will wrap up part 8 of our Let's Play. We are working our way towards going to fight Radon, and uh, I'm really actually quite excited about it. So, instead of just waste your time after you've watched that, we're just going to go ahead and end this out. I look forward to part 9 coming soon, and you know what? You guys be kind, be safe, spread the love, and we'll see you next time. Peace.